gifts. And in this segment, I'm going to show you the crow's foot crochet stitch. I've had a couple of people ask me about how to make a crow's foot crochet stitch. And it's really also known as the spike stitch. So I'm going to demonstrate on this already made segment with another color so you can see it better. And usually you would use the spike stitch in order to enhance a completed crochet project um, in a contrasting or coordinating color. So I just slip stitched along the edging here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into the bottom of the row below. And I'm going to pull up a loop. And then I'm just going to finish it off. So I've just basically done a single crochet stitch, but down below the row that I had previously done. Then I'm going to insert the hook down two rows below and pull up a loop and then join those with a yarn over and pull through. And then next to it, I'm going to do another spike stitch into the one row below. Pull up a loop, finish off the stitch. So now when you look at it, it looks like I've created a little crow's foot because I've got three spikes, two that are a little bit shorter than the middle one, creating that foot-like look. And then I can just slip stitch across the rest of my row and I've created a really interesting little edge and stitch there. I'm Phyllis of Many Creative Gifts, and in this segment, we've looked at the crow's foot or spike stitch in crochet.